Yo, what's up, Max here, and in this video, we'll be talking about how to get clients as an online coach. I'm literally gonna be sharing with you insights that nobody else is talking about out there, and you will also, after watching this video, understand why there are so many online coaches out there that are not making four to five figures a month yet, but with the information I'll be sharing with you here, you can which is very, very great. So let's crack right into it. Have you ever wondered whether there's more to life than a boring dead end nine to five job? Have you ever dreamed about breaking free, you know, traveling the world, making good money and just enjoying life? No more office dress code, no morning commute, no boss. This channel is for you. So here's to your freedom. First and foremost, I wanna talk about what you don't need in order to get clients as an online coach to get to four to five figures a month. Number one, you do not need a big social media following. Okay, nowadays in the, in the age of Instagram influencers and big YouTube channels, etc., we're kinda of inclined to think that, but it's absolutely not necessary. Absolutely not necessary, okay? Some of my clients are getting to four to five figures a month with not even a website, no Instagram, no YouTube, nothing, nothing other than you know their, maybe like their private Facebook profile that they're using anyway, but not even that you need. So completely get rid of the idea of, oh, I need to build a social media following for years, build this great 10,000 follower Instagram account or whatnot, and then I can start making money. You literally don't. So stop wasting your time trying to build that, okay? If you wanna build a brand, Absolutely, I love brand building. This is something I also love helping my clients with, but it's not necessary. First money, then brand. Understand that, write it down. Money first, then brand. It's hell of a lot easier to build a social media following when you're already leaning back, making four to five figures a month, okay? Not necessary to have a big social media following. Sales funnel. People always ask me, but what sales funnel should I use? You do not need a sales funnel. You don't even need that, completely unnecessary. You can make up to 10,000 euros, even more, a month without having a sales funnel, okay? Next thing, paid ads, paid advertising, unnecessary. It's nice to have, for sure, definitely, and once you start making real money, you can start investing some of that money into paid ads, but you don't need it at all to get your first clients. You can, again, get four to five figures a month without spending a single dime on ads. Stop wasting your hard-earned money on ads if you haven't even generated any conversions yet, any, any money yet, okay? People are always like, and then I have to test the ads and the ad budget, and then, you know, their, their money is dwindling and dwindling, and they haven't even made a proper client yet. Don't rely on ads. Nice to have, later on absolutely, but in the beginning, absolutely not necessary, okay? Being well known in your niche as an expert, completely unnecessary either, okay? You don't, like, I, I understand that, like, you're watching my stuff, so you think, like, oh, Max is well known as well. Yeah, I am now, but you don't have to. Again, you can get up to four to five figures a month without ever have being known by anybody. You can be a complete nobody. And I'm gonna tell you later how all that's being done because you might watch this now and be like, this is like how this is crazy. Like, how would it work without social media, uh, without paid ads, without a sales phone, without being well known? You don't need any of that, okay? I'm gonna show you how in a sec. Website, also completely unnecessary. I kind of mentioned it before. Uh, degree, coaching degree. Like, you don't need that either. You don't need any of that. So detoxify your mind from the mainstream thinking that you need a social media account, paid ads, and whatnot. All completely unnecessary. Nice to have for sure, absolutely, but not necessary to get clients. In fact, I recommend you learning how to generate clients without all these things because it's a really, really amazing skill to have. And then later on when you do have social media, these skills will transfer onto social media and you can you know, squeeze way more income from a smaller following than people with a big following, okay? You might have, when did we record that video about uh, two million follower Instagram, uh, couldn't de two, two, two million follower Instagram, couldn't even sell 36 shirts. Yeah, this is what's gonna happen. This is what's gonna happen when you rely too much on, you know, just big social media following, et cetera. Anyways. Let's talk about what do you need. Pay attention, because this is really, really key here. What do you need is, you need proper positioning in a niche market. What do I mean by proper positioning? Next big mistake many people do is like, oh, I can help anybody, okay? I, I, I never forget that. I had a guy once asking me for advice, and, he, and I'm like, well, you know, what's your expertise? What's your niche market? And he's like, well, I help people, this is funny, he's like, I help people uh, become more present and also more happy and reach their goals and uh, be more motivated 
and also be more focused. Oh, and also I, I do some dating advice and, and I help people in relationships because you know I, I can really help all of them. And it's, it's very honorable that that person wants to help all of them. Absolutely amazing, but suicide when it comes to business. Worst thing ever. Stop, stop thinking I can help anybody. Start thinking small and be like, I can help a certain target audience in a certain niche market fix one problem, one exact problem, okay? I'm gonna give you an example to illustrate that further. Let's say you're a rather fit person, okay? I'm, I'm literally gonna give amazing value out for free here for anybody who, who's thinking about you know fitness niche whatsoever. Let's say you're a very fit for a person and you wanna help people become fitter, okay? Here's what everybody does. Well, I'm very fit, six pack, eight pack, or you know, I'm, I have great booty, whatever. I'm gonna help everybody, as many people as possible, get really, really fit and you know, become Instagram model level good looking. Worst idea ever, which is by the way on a side note why there's so many fitness gurus out there that are completely broke and barely make any money. And then there's a few unknown people out there that make all the money, you know, that make seven figures a, month, a, a year racking up all these amazing clients, making all that money because they're targeting one niche market. So instead of saying like, oh, I'll help everybody, you know, get fit, you focus on one thing and one thing only, okay? I help middle-aged women after their pregnancy lose 10 to 20 kilos or five to 10 kilos, as simple as that. Or you say, you know what? I'm gonna help uh, busy entrepreneurs with, you know, bad posture, being lazy, with having to work a lot, get back in shape, right? Or let's say I help young men that are heart gainers, that have trouble gaining weight with their nutrition so they can eat enough to finally gain muscle. So you see here, the difference is I can help anyone, aka I can't really help anyone specifically, versus I can help a specific tiny niche market fix one problem and one problem only. That way you position yourself correctly, okay? And the better you're positioned, the easier it will be for you to generate clients. Next point, proper research of your target audience, okay? You've heard talking, me talking about this uh, client avatar concept, it's not, nothing that I made up, it's literally regular basic level marketing. You need to know exactly who you can help. And what I mean by exactly, you need to know their dreams, their frustrations, what keeps them up at night, you need to know the words that they're using when they're talking about the frustrations to their best friend at the bar at 3 a.m. in the morning. The better you know your target audience, the better it will be for you to communicate to them one-on-one. -on -one. Let's say, for example, you're on a call with them and they're interested in getting on board with your program, but they're not sure. The better you can communicate on their level, the more trust you can generate and the more you can show them that you indeed have expertise. You don't need no degree in your expertise. You don't need no, no website fancy or anything like that. People buy because they trust you. People vote with their wallets because they can resonate with you because they feel like, hey, this is a person that is on my level and if that person fixed the problem, I can fix the problem too. And I'll never forget that. This is something that, that I've learned on my, on my first channel, the dating advice business. I always thought, look, I need to be the perfect expert and I need to be super good. I need to have all these crazy proof that I'm really good. And I tried that and people didn't quite resonate with that. And then the moment my, my, my sales start going through the roof was a moment where I would start imagining myself in the shoes of my potential clients, where I'd start getting to know my clients better and better, what words they're using, what problems they're facing and how I can communicate that. That was the moment where people started messaging me and they're like, you know why I bought your program? You know why I got on board with your program? Because I resonate with you. That's the magic word, resonate with you. Okay, that is why you need to properly research your target audience. Who exactly is it? You can do interviews, you can ask them, you know, on, on, on forums, on their websites where certain people of your target audience hang out, Facebook groups, easiest thing in the world. Research your target audience, the better you know them, the better it will be for you, okay? Proper offer that is validated. That's the next point. This is again, so many people are creating this video course. I get so many DMs a day of people saying like, oh my God, Max, you know, for the last four months I've been creating this amazing video course and can you help me market it? And I'm like, well, how many clients have watched that video course? This is a whole other topic, products, online products, stay away from that. Online mentoring, that's where the real value is. And 
and they're like, I've created this, 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 this program, blah, 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 and I'm like, well, has it been validated? And they, and they ask me, well, what do you mean has it been validated? Well, how, have people gone through the program? Do they like it? Does it actually fix their problem? What problem does it fix? It? And, and, and there's just so many mistakes, there's traps left and right that you're literally laying out for yourself by creating a program and then, and then once it's done, after you've invested your time, sometimes even money already, months of it, now you're hoping that it sells well. Worst thing ever. Okay, Seth Godin says in his really great marketing book, um, Purple Cow, he says the best marketing is the product itself. And how, what better product is there than a product that you create together with the client? Okay, so instead of creating this product for three, four months and then hoping that it sells well, how about you get your first clients? Could be test clients, you could charge them a lower price for that, you can do it for free if you want to get test clients and see what they need and get another test client and then another test client and the more clients you're having going through this program as you're teaching them, as you mentor them online, the better you can create your expertise. And then you, for example, again, to get back to the fitness, to the fitness example, just off the top of my head, let's say you're teaching these hard gainers how to gain muscle and they all kind of say the same. They're all like, but I'm eating so much already and it's so hard for me to eat all these things if I only knew the proper things to eat. Just random example, right? And they all say the same thing. If I only knew the proper things to eat, what are you gonna do later on when you market your coaching service? You're using these words, the proper things to eat, knowing what to do, understand that, okay? So you create an offer that is validated. And all these things, okay? Being properly positioned in the niche market, understanding your target audience better than all these other schmucks out there, they have no idea. And having a validated product where you know this fixes the problem, this is something that makes people excited, and this has been proven that people want to buy. Those are the things that can get you your first clients, right? So last but not least, the question is gonna be like, well, what else do I need? And that's the following. You need basic level knowledge of marketing and sales. Basically helping you to close the deal. And no, you don't need to be a 10 out of 10 sales expert. No, you don't need to visit 10 sales seminars and read a bunch of sales books. You need 20% of the sales knowledge that will give you 80% of the results, okay? This knowledge really can be delivered within a couple hours and that is really it. Anybody be can become really, really good at sales, okay? Anybody can be good enough at sales to generate their first client to generate their first clients after that and then to get to four to five figures a month. Again, I keep telling you that clients in my program, none of them have basic sales experience before they get on board with us. They still are able to convert up to four to five figures a month and then later on beyond that. Really, that, for people it's always like, oh, this is like sales, this is like big scary topic. No, it's not, it's very, very simple. And again, what you then do is with all that knowledge, you generate leads manually and you generate leads manually up to five figures a month. What do I mean by generating leads manually? Directly reaching out to them, directly reaching out to people in your target audience, directly reaching out to these people, communicating in a way so that they can see that you have expertise in that and that you understand them and that they can, again, resonate with you. Nothing keeps you from reaching out directly to your target audience. And you will already know where your target audience hangs out we're online or the gathering places of these people in the target audience because you've already researched them. It's that simple, right? Scale it up to five figures a month easily without Facebook ads, without YouTube, without Instagram, without followers, without a sales funnel, without being super well known. You can easily scale up to five figures a month and then later on you can automize the leads. Okay, later on when you're making four to five figures a month, then you can say, you know what, let me create uh, social media if you want to or you just don't and you keep having fun with your four to five figures a month. What would you do with five figures a month? What would you do with 10,000 euros or $10,000 a month income? Using this, a crappy old laptop, your old Android phone or iPhone or whatnot. Using that, what would you do with 10K, huh? What would you live? What would you do with your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your spouse, your children? Have a little bit of more spare time, right? You don't have to worry about you know, commuting to your job. You don't have to worry about your stupid boss, about your stupid coworkers. You're your own boss. What would you do with 10K a month? Cash on your hand, you know? Crazy thing too is when you're an online coach, online consultant, you barely have any expenses. What are your expenses? Okay, you probably already have a laptop or a phone because you're watching this. Uh, do you need to pay for internet? You don't even have to pay for internet anymore. You can you know, chill at Starbucks, get the free internet there. All, all, nowadays, there's free Wi-Fi everywhere. Um, 
How amazing is that? And again, like you barely have any costs, right? But you gotta pay attention to these things, what you need, proper positioning in the niche market, proper research or your target audience, offer that is validated, okay? Knowing basic level knowledge of marketing and sales, it's that easy, okay? Now we can help you with that, that's the great thing. We can help you scale your business from zero up to four to five figures a month. It's possible if and only if you pick the right model, you execute the right things, okay? Number one, don't come into this endeavor with the, with the thought of, oh, I'll figure it out myself. I'll figure it out myself. You're gonna waste your time, right? Why would you waste your time if somebody else has already has established a proven way to do that? Why would you waste your time? Biggest mistake I've done in my life, both in a personal level as well as on a, on a career basis, is saying exactly that, I'll figure it out myself. I've been working out for two years before I got real results because I didn't have a mentor in that. Now I have my fitness mentor. He teaches me online as well, by the way and I'm getting great results, right? Same goes for business, same goes for every area that is important in my life, I get a damn mentor, because there's one thing in my life that is not infinite, and that is my own time. Because you know, sometime I'm gonna cross the street, <laughs> we're here in, uh, in Kiev right now, it's a very dangerous crossing the street, and you just get hit by a car and it's over, right? My time is valuable and so is yours. Don't waste it trying to figure things out yourself. So when you say you're ready to start becoming a successful online coach, online consultant, online service provider, to start getting your first clients, get up to four to five figures a month, again, if and only if you do things correctly, then you can click that link in the description below. It brings you to a page and on that page you can literally book a free consultation call, either with me personally or with an expert from my team. It's very, very neat. Again, uh, the link appears somewhere here right now or in the description, same link. You click that, it brings you to a page. Read what's on that page because it's really important information, there's some more value in how to get your first clients. Read what's on that page and then on the bottom of that page, you click a button where you can literally book the exact date and time where you want us to call you. And then we get you started, okay? This is especially important if you already have a skill, you don't know how to monetize it, okay? You're good at something, you just don't know how to build a business around that. Um, or you maybe have made some money but you wanna make real money and really good and you wanna make it easier and better and more, give us a call, this is for you. But also if you don't quite, if you're not quite sure yet what it is that you wanna do, okay? You say, oh, I'm kinda good at, at a couple things, I'm not sure which one is the most lucrative, or you say you have no idea at all, give us a call nonetheless because we can analyze your strengths and we can help you get started, all right? But it's most important that you take action, otherwise this video has been a complete waste of your time and it hasn't done anything for you, all right? I don't wanna waste your time. Time's very finite. So talk to you very, very soon. This is how to get clients. Thank you very much and GG.